What is up, everybody? Today I'm going to be counting down my 10 favorite Cinderella songs. Awesome band, easily one of the best to come out of that 80s hard rock and glam metal scene. They've only got four albums, though. That's why I'm doing top 10 songs. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know a few months back, I was doing a lot of these with different bands, but all those were top 20 songs. Um, depending, like going forward, depending on how long a band's discography is, I might just do 10 or how much I like them, I'll do 10. But love Cinderella, doing top 10 of theirs, only four albums. A lot of great stuff though, and you know, amazing musicianship throughout, especially from Tom Kiefer, their front man. The guy does a little bit of everything, guitar, piano, keyboards, mandolin, you name it. You look at the list of stuff. Vocals, great, raspy, unique, um, distinctive voice he has. Jeff Labar on guitar as well. Um, Eric Brittingham on the bass. And then for the live drumming, most of it was done by Fred Corey. But if you look at the actual credits on the albums, on the first album, Night Songs, a guy named Jody Cortez did the drumming on that. On um, Long Cold Winter, they actually had Cozy Powell uh, do some of the drumming and a guy named Denny Carmassi, who both amazing drummers. Denny, a lot of different bands he's played with. Montrose, Gamma, which was a band of Ronnie Montrose's after Montrose, Ted Nugent, Sammy Hagar. So um, a lot of really good musicians on these Cinderella albums, great songs, so I might as well get into it here. So my number 10, I'm gonna start it off with the song Freewheeling. I got my list right here, by the way, from the Still Climbing album, 1994. This is their most recent album to date and probably not gonna get another Cinderella album, but uh, this one pretty good, somewhat overlooked because it didn't come out till 1994. But they didn't really change their overall sound too much. Sounds a lot like the first two albums. Good, hard rocking, gritty, raw stuff. Especially this song here. Really good one. Number nine, I'm going to go with Long Cold Winter. The title track from the Long Cold Winter album, 1988. Easily their most bluesy song. Um, kind of dark. Cool vocals. Great guitar work throughout. Number eight, I'm going to go with um, Falling Apart at the Seams. The uh, first song from the Long Cold Winter album. Starts off, you know, bad, uh, bad seams versus blues into uh, falling apart at the seams. Little bluesy intro, then it transitions into a really good heavy hard rock and riff. Awesome stuff. And another thing with Cinderella, their uh, backing vocals, that like gang backing vocals for the chorus a lot of the times, I think sounds really good, especially on this song. Talk is cheap, number seven. This is another one from the Still Climbing album, and this one's pretty interesting because. You can look on YouTube and there's videos of them playing this as early as 1987, but it never got onto an album until this one in 1994. Really good song, great bass line to open it up, um, great riff. A lot of the vocal melodies as well from Tom Kiefer are really good. Enjoy this one a lot. Really good song. Number six, I'm gonna go with Fire and Ice. This is another one from the Long Cold Winter album. Right from the beginning of it, good, heavy, hard rock and riff, great song. Number five, Second Wind, another one from Log Cold Winter. Great song, uh, one of their faster paced ones. Really, really good stuff. Number four, Bad Attitude Shuffle. This one is the opening song on the Still Climbing album, 1994. Again, kind of a similar uh, feel to the beginning of the Long Cold Winter album. A little quiet beginning, kind of bluesy. It's got the like record scratching sound in the background and then transitions into just an awesome heavy riff. Great song. Number three, so these top three are all going to be from Night Song. So number three, I'm going to go with the Night Song's title track, opening song of the album, kind of a little dark intro there, and then breaks into a really, really good riff. This album, looking at the cover, I've said this before, other people have said it. If you just look at how they look on the cover of the album, you wouldn't expect it to be this heavy of an album. Um, but uh, yeah, great song, great album, Night Song's. Number two, I'm going to go with Back Home again. This is the final song on the Night Songs album. Another one, uh, really hard rock and heavy one. Um, great riff. Love the vocal melody from Tom. Awesome stuff. And of course, number one has got to be Somebody Save Me. Amazing song. Great riff. Great vocals. Everything about it's awesome. Great solo. The uh, chorus is amazing. This one I actually did have. I've said this before, but as my walk-up song as a sophomore in high school they would play little songs you're walking up to bat and you know of course everybody else on the team shitty rap and other stuff like that and i've come walking up with cinderella so that's pretty cool but um yeah awesome song always been my favorite by cinderella always will be i assume and you know i guess i'll go through some honorable mentions here pretty much everything else from night songs i didn't list honorable mention nobody's full even though it's a ballad really really good one kind of a dark feel to it once around for the ride nothing for nothing hell on wheels shake me all really good from the night songs album uh, push push that's another one from night songs but uh last mile great song coming home 
Gypsy Road if you don't like it. So great freaking band here. Those were my top 10 and some honorable mentions. You guys can uh, let me know what you thought. Give me your top 10 Cinderella songs in the comments. And until next time, thank you for watching.